Obviously, you want to defend, but uh, at the, my whole career just been trying to forget the past, and it's just the same as like honestly, if you came into a tournament that I lost first round to. Um, honestly, I feel like that's more pressure because you don't want to lose first round again. So, uh, yeah, I think I just try to treat every tournament like a fresh start, and then and when we if I get to the end and I have you know get to win back to back, that's pretty cool. But I'm not really looking at that. Um, no, I don't have to reset my goals. I mean, the goals were always to win multiple. So, um, yeah, I think it's the same goal. I think, you know, these many goals that you do along the way, um, that was, you know, the biggest goal for me that year. But, like, considering, like, the whole career of my goals, yeah, I mean, that was just, like, a stepping stone. So um, I don't feel like I have, don't have to reset anything. I think, um, if anything, it makes it more believable that I can uh, do what I want to do. Honestly, like reaching a really low, I think after Wimbledon, I reached a, a really low, like lowest point in my career, probably after losing that match. And um, I think that learning from it kind of helped me push forward. And I think sometimes you need those setbacks to push you forward. And that's what I, I mean, at the time, I obviously didn't want to lose first round, but I think that's what I needed um, to not wake me up because I felt like I always was awake, but just realize, um, you know, that maybe you should put less pressure on, you know, every single match because it's, you know, we're playing a lot of matches in, in our, in the year. And I think I was putting like so much in every single match and too much on myself mentally. So I think from after that match, I was like, let me take a step back and just Enjoy the tennis. Enjoy the wins and enjoy the I think I got I got really lucky that I was gradually put into it. Um, you know, someone you know some other players on tour who kind of won didn't have any much success on the pro circuit than won like Emma for example that happened like overnight for her and for me I feel like it was more of a gradual thing like you know each year I was getting noticed more and more obviously that was just like a tipping point so I feel like it was something that I was lucky that I was able to gradually get into so it wasn't as much of a shock as I felt as some for another for her really You know, they do the fireworks on the Sky Tower, so we're just going to do that and then maybe do an escape room today with the family and, yeah, write down some goals. I always wait till the last minute to write down goals, so I end up putting too many, um, and hopefully I can stick to my resolutions this year for more than, like, two weeks.